Hey you guys, welcome back. It's me, Just Tiffany B. And today, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be mixing almost all my foundations together. And I'm going to be applying my foundation with my mini Luna, Luna Mini. So today is going to be very interesting. Honestly, I've been seeing the mixing all whichever makeup product together and I'm like, you know what, all right, let me just try it out. So some of my foundation may be a little bit too dark or a little bit too red and some might be a little bit too ashy to light grayish. So hopefully if I mix it together, I just get the perfect foundation. So. This is going to be interesting. Hopefully it comes out well because I have another video to film right after this. So I'm just crossing my fingers right now. I'm just crossing my fingers. Now I got the idea for applying my foundation with my mini Luna because I here on YouTube I've been watching Tati's videos and she's been raving about uh, the Clarisonic foundation brush applicator. and now that does sound like a good idea the only thing is i don't like the clarisonic it didn't work out for my skin tone so i'm like hmm i like my little mini luna let me see if i could use this to apply my foundation so enough talking let's go ahead and jump right into this video and if it's a fail it's a fail i tried i tried to make it a little bit more fun to apply my makeup so let's just see let's just see all right let's go all right, you guys, so I have the eight foundations here. You see Paco in the corner trying to be in the video for what? Oh, what? Back, back. This is my Holy Grail foundation before I found Fenty Beauty and I stopped using this. This is like a full coverage all nighter foundation. They weren't lying when they said all nighter. I gotta shade this up because it's been a little minute since I touched this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a pump in here. But we're just gonna do one pump of each because I'm not trying to waste the leftover and I don't put a lot of foundation on my face. So one pump of each. Got the Fenty Beauty. Fenty Beauty, just one pump. I think this was my first foundation ever. <laughs> this is the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. This is a Holy Grail 2, but it's been a little minute since I touched it. So I'm just gonna shake this bad boy up and hopefully there's something in here. <laughs> So one pump of that as well. You know it would be so sad if I mix this all together and there's not enough foundation to put on my face. Maybe I should have been doing two pumps. Nah. This is the Dream Velvet Maybelline. I never used this foundation before. Like I bought it but never got around to using it. So we're gonna add it to the mix. And this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. Oh, that look like to have a yellow undertone. I'm not liking how this look is so far, you guys. This is the MAC Next to Nothing Foundation. I love this, it's very sheer. It just has a great undertone, so I stopped wearing it. But we're gonna add it to the mix. This was a holy grail for me for a little minute. We have the Maybelline Fit Me. Uh, this is a matte and poreless in 330. Come on, I know there's something in here. The last but not least, this is the neck. This is the NYX Total Control Drops Foundation. I'm just going to fill up one whole syringe of this. Now that I'm looking at it, it's definitely not enough foundation. So I'm gonna go back in with each foundation and add another pump. All right, so this is how it looks, prayed unmixed. I'm about to mix it together now. So I'm mixing it. But it looks chunky, it looks thick, like, look at this. I don't think it's, <laughs> oh. So I mixed it, I'm about to prepare my, my foundation applicator. Oh. I'm gonna take some cling wrap and I'm gonna wrap it around the application part so it'll be less of a cleanup. And there you got it, a regular Luna Mini. Now with a brush tip foundation applicator. <laughs> I know, amazing. Oh yeah, there's a lot of product in here. Oh my gosh, what am I doing, you guys? Okay, okay, I'm gonna turn it on. It's way too much product. Okay, this side's it. And I'm just gonna apply it to the face. 
This foundation is too orange. Or maybe not. First of all, this is not my shade. <laughs> this is not my shade. This is what I get for being petty. This is honestly what I get for being petty. Um, so I'm about to just go on with my foundation brush and just blend. Is the foundation oxidizing? Does it seem like it suits me now? Like, I'm looking at the camera and it's telling me that the foundation suits me. But I'm looking in real life. <laughs> I'm looking in this mirror and it kind of looks a little yellow to me, you know? I feel like a cake face right now. Yeah, I feel cakey. I really want to know which foundation was that yellow that it just stood out from the rest of the crowd. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup. You guys already see me do my makeup like a thousand and one time. So you don't you don't need to see me do it. So um Hopefully the foundation oxidizes a little bit and I'll see you guys in a few so all right you guys So I finished applying my makeup and this is the overall look Now Let's jump in with the applicator I Would not be trying this again. I don't think this was for me. It made the process um, Longer it wasn't fun to apply it I don't know if because the foundation was so thick, but it was just leaving street marks all over my face. I thought like the vibration with the cling wrap, since it's going to be a smooth surface, I thought it was going to be like A1 to apply your foundation, but it left creasing on my face and also wasn't blending into my skin. It was just like sitting on top of my skin, not really blending in. And it took longer and I couldn't get into the smaller parts of my, uh, my face. So this right here is a fail. I was like, it was just starting to go all downhill. Now for the foundation, I don't know why I thought it was going to be enough. So I went in back with like a second pump of everything. But I should have just stick with the first pump because I used less than half of, of the foundation that I mixed together. Less than half. And as I applied it, I was freaking out because it was, seemed so yellow on my face. But I guess it oxidized because it matches my skin very good, you guys. Like, you know, is this my skin or not? <laughs> the foundation that I mixed together, it was, it felt very cakey, but it was very pigmented. Like, I only needed one coat and then blended in really good for it to be, like, cover all my hyperpigmentations. So, like, and honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I forgot to put primer on on top of all of that <laughs> so I'm not seeing any I'm not seeing any creasing yet I'm about to film another video after this so I'm about to see like right now this seems like the perfect coverage like I don't I'm not oily which I'm so very surprised by especially that I didn't put on no primer at all it was fun to test it out the results came out good even though I thought it was gonna turn out bad um but I'm not gonna sit here every day like, uh, let me mix this some more. No, I'm not gonna do that. Like, I might pre-mix it and keep it in a separate bottle if I'm like via extra. But right now, I think I might stick with my Fenty Beauty. It's been doing the trick so far. To wrap this video up, it was kind of a win-lose today. You know, the Luna let me down, but the foundation held me up today, especially for not wearing no primer. Go ahead and let me know down in the comments below. Have you tried this before? Have you tried applying your foundation with the Mini Luna before? Let me know all down below. Let me know if I did something wrong with the Mini Luna, but it wasn't, it wasn't working for me. <laughs> Alright, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye, you guys.